In this video, I'll show you how to install the Nemesis Unlimited Behavior Engine for Skyrim Special Edition and Skyrim Anniversary Edition using Mod Organizer 2. In a separate video, link down below, there's a guide on how to install the Behavior Engine with Vortex. Nemesis is the successor to the old FNIS engine. It doesn't outright replace FNIS, but newer animation mods probably require the Nemesis engine over FNIS. First, make sure the MO2 is open on your desktop and then go to nexusmods.com. Select Skyrim Special Edition. Yes, select the Special Edition even if you have the Anniversary Edition. With mods, it's best to think of the Anniversary Edition as more of a DLC than a complete new version of the game. Now use the search bar and type in Nemesis Unlimited Behavior Engine. Scroll down and select Requirements. You'll see that it requires the 2019 version of C++ Redistributable. Chances are you already have this installed on your computer, but if not, click the link and download the file from Microsoft. If you're unsure if you have it or not, just check your Programs and Features in the Control Panel. Next, go to the Files section. Scroll down to the main file link and select Mod Manager Download. You should get a prompt on your browser asking if you'd like to open this file with Mod Organizer 2. Select Yes, the file will then be added to your Mod Manager. Now while you're still on NexusMods.com, let's go get a mod that requires Nemesis. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Crouch Sliding by Nick Knack. I love this mod. It gives you a sweet little slide animation that can knock people over. That's fun. Download the mod with your Mod Manager. Now go back to MO2 and install and enable both Nemesis and the Crouch Sliding mod. Next, go to this drop down and select Edit. Press the plus button and then the option that says Add from File. Navigate to your Skyrim game directory. Look at my path here and yours should be pretty similar. Click on the data folder and then go into the Nemesis engine folder. Locate the Nemesis Unlimited Behavior.exe and select it. Now press OK. Okay, so whenever you install a mod that requires Nemesis, you'll need to launch this tool and find the mod that you added. Not all mods show up in here by default, but once you add them to your mod manager, Nemesis will detect it and add it to be selected. Now I'm going to select Crouch Sliding and then press the big button that says Launch Nemesis Behavior Engine. At this point, it may give you an error and say that the engine needs to be updated. That's fine. Press the little Update Engine button and wait for the engine to update. Once that's finished, press the Launch Nemesis Behavior button again. Wait for your animations to be loaded into the game. Once that's all taken care of, go ahead and launch Skyrim. Test out the new mod, and now you can slide your way into anything. If this video helped you, please press the like button so others can get help too. If you need help with other mods, then check out my channel or join our Discord. The links are down below. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.